<laughs> now it's time for um, Would You Rather. Um, so, this first one is Would You Rather Have No Knees or No Elbows? No Knees? Like No Knees or yeah, No Elbows? I think you could live without. Well, I don't want to be like rude, but if oh, I had well. a choice to like lose my legs or lose my arms, I'm losing the legs. You can't function without without your arms. Like, you know, you can't do anything. With your legs, you can at least, you know, get a wheelchair or something, you know? Oh, Lord. Yeah, I think life would be <laughs> way better having, like, the use of your arms over the use of your legs. Like, yeah, I probably say the same. I probably say the same. Just get the wheelchair and you, you're good. Everything you got well, a lot you, of you accessible the, stuff. You, you get the uh, you, you just get the uh, the fake legs. Mm, that too. All yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> would you ever go a year without TV or a year without video games? Year without video games. I think. You yeah. Because yeah. yeah. already don't yeah. play the fucking game as it is. Yeah, like I slowly have filtered out games. Whereas, like, I don't know, it's like, I don't feel as productive playing a game. I, I use it as a as a disconnect, but at the same time, it's like, to me right now, games are, like, so trash. <laughs> like, games come out, you're playing a beta to begin with, and then they can do all these patches, and then after you're done with the game, they come out with the the DLC content and it's like okay I keep paying you money paying you money and it's like it's a, you're never giving me a finished product so part of me is always like frustrated with the gaming industry right now this is a it's kind of hard like I'm kind of like you uh, a little bit with the games um, I don't think it's a waste of time because games can't games can benefit you like you uh can't help you like with, with your mental health issues and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's the disconnect. But, uh, it's just that for some reason lately I just haven't wanted to get on the game. But um, it's low key kind of easier to watch um, to 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 live with it, uh, without TV because like I I've done it before. Like it was it was a while where I was just mm-hmm. like wasn't watching anything anything. Uh, one, one, because uh, I didn't have a damn TV, and two, I watched everything on my damn phone. But uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. but when you say TV, I mean, oh well, yeah, yeah, I, like, I like, like no, no, no t- like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, I, yeah, that. But uh, normally, normally, uh, I was able to, uh, to not watch TV. Uh, you know, I have a TV, internet, you know, messing up a little bit, but. Uh, Normally, I just, I'll just, uh, like, recently, I'll just, I'll just chill out and just, like, listen to, like, the radio or some music, stuff like that. So, it's kind of easier to, um, it's kind of easier to live without TV. Cause I, I do think TV is kind of a waste a little bit. But, um, yeah, I, I, I probably say I, I can, I can do without, I can do without, uh, TV. Uh, in this last one, um, what is worse, getting getting beat up in front of your wife or getting beat up in front of your children? Uh, I would probably say wife. Hmm. Yeah, because with the wife, I think I think you you have the you have to put. Like, it's not, like, traditional roles are, like, you know, you're the man. You're supposed to, like, take care take care of the family and, and your wife and all that stuff. And for you to get your ass whooped in front of her, that kind of, like, shows, damn, you know, this dude. I guess it depends on how it goes down. But I guess um, getting beat in front of your wife, that kind of looks, looks pretty weak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As opposed to like, yeah. if you if you get your ass whooped in front of your kids, you can still teach them a lesson. Like, if you let's say you fight back, you know you could you could just tell them, you know, 
you fight back, stack your ground. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way, and that's like a life lesson for them, you know? Yeah. As opposed to getting beat in front of your wife, you can't really bullshit it. She knows what happened, and you end up looking pretty weak. See, your kids, they're going to leave regardless, especially if you're in the lives. But on the other hand, your kids look up to you. So if you yeah. getting beat up in front of your kid, they're like, damn. Dad has got his fucking ass beat. He a weak ass motherfucker. <laughs> he weak. No, Dad, but I think, like, weak I think ass. like <laughs> <laughs> I think if they see, if they see you fight back, they, that kind of negates it. But it's beat like you can fight back, but it's beat up. Like you getting your ass beat. Bloody <laughs> nose, <laughs> busted lips. Bloody nose, busted lips. You on the ground. No, that's what I'm saying. You could you could tell them. You know, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Like, shit, shit just happened. As opposed to, like, it, you, you look so much weaker in front of your wife if it happens. I think. I, I say, I say, either way, you kind of look, you kind of look weak either yeah, way. Yeah. But depending on, like, depending on uh, how old your kids is, like, if they in, like single digits, they might forget about that shit. But if you get into it with your wife. You know she's gonna bring that shit up. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> Remember when you got your you ass whooped? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know she's gonna bring that shit oh, up to be smart. Okay. And, and you know you, you know you can't talk shit to like you in the bedroom, like, ooh, I'm about to beat that. I'm about to yeah. beat it up. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're gonna lose all like Yeah. Yeah. You can't you can't ever like Kind of act tough in a way because he just got exposed. I, I say, I say, either way is, is worse, but I, I say, in front of your kids. I, I don't want to get beat up in front of my damn kids, man.